Hey everyone, welcome back to Light Your Fancy Foods. My name is Jonathan, and on today's episode, we are gonna be learning how to make the Welsh Dragon. The Welsh Dragon was made popular at the Rose and Crown Pub in the United Kingdom Pavilion in Epcot. I know some of you guys are missing drinking around the world just as much as I am, so how about we learn how to make one of my favorite drinks from the Rose and Crown Pub? Let's get started. All right guys, so here's the ingredient list for the Welsh Dragon. So the first thing you're going to need is a melon liqueur. You can use any melon liqueur. The recipe calls for Bowles melon liqueur. I couldn't find any of that at my liquor store, so I went with uh, De Cooper melon liqueur. Works just as well. The next thing is peach schnapps. I actually went with Bowles, just like the recipe calls for. And the last thing is going to be cream de menthe. Now, it needs to be a specific cream de menthe. It needs to be green in color. It can't be the clear cream de menthe. Otherwise, it won't give you that really cool green color that the Lost Dragon has at the very end when it's all shaken up. Next thing you're going to need in order to make the Walsh Dragon is going to be a orange and pineapple juice. I use dull orange pineapple juice for my Walsh Dragon. And this is going to be to taste, but normally it'll just take one can of uh, the pineapple orange juice. This is six ounces. And it's going to be garnished at the very end with one orange and a couple of cherries. So we're going to take that out of the fridge at the very end. So let's get on to constructing our drink. All right, so this is what you're going to need to assemble the drink. It's going to be uh, the melon liqueur, the peach schnapps, the cream de menthe, and then you're going to need your pineapple and orange juice. First, you're going to add your melon liqueur. It's going to be about one ounce of melon liqueur. Right there. The next one is going to be peach snuffs. You're going to add about an ounce of peach snaps right there into the drink. And last but not least, it's going to be the cream de menthe. You're going to want to go a little bit lighter on the cream de menthe. So maybe do uh, three fourths an ounce. So it should be right about, uh, right about there. A little bit of cream de menthe just to give it that green color. And then finally, Let's put all of our liquors up, finish it off with your dull pineapple and orange juice. Right in there, make sure you shake it up. And make sure that shaker lid is all the way on so you don't spill it on yourself. Trust me, it's how it happens. Perfect. So that is one shaken up Walsh Dragon. Now let's work on making our garnishes. All right, so here's how to make the garnishes for the Walsh Dragon. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut up your orange. Now the orange I already have, I made one earlier today, so you cut it in half, and then you wanna take your paring knife, and you're gonna wanna cut off one little ring. Make sure you do not cut yourself. So, even the adults, watch yourself. Just please don't cut yourself. All right, you're gonna to wanna to cut that little wedge directly in half so you have two little wedges. Go ahead, store this aside, wrap it up in plaster wrap. It stays good in the refrigerator for about maybe two days before you have to kind of toss it out. Now the next thing you're gonna need is a cherry. So I'm going to pick that cherry out with my knife and I'll just leave it on the end of here. Go ahead and grab yourself a toothpick. and skewer your cherry straight through. Trust me, my hands are all nice and washed. Then take your orange slice and poke it straight through there. And that is your garnish for your Walsh Dragon. Now let's assemble the entire drink and taste it. All right, so let's finally assemble all of our components to make the Welsh Dragon. The first thing you're gonna need is your shaker mixer. Let's shake it up one more time. You're gonna need a nice tall glass because it is served in a tall glass at the parks. They usually use plastic, I don't have one, so I got this really nice uh, clear glass here. So let's uh, pop this guy open. This is not the easiest thing to open. There it is. All right, grab your Hawthorne strainer. And I have a little thing full of ice here. I'll fill it up about halfway with ice. And then finally pour your Walsh Dragon mixture 
right inside of your cup. And then finally, last but not least, garnish it with your garnish that you made. And that is your Walsh Dragon. All right, guys, now that we got our drink fully assembled, let's get down to tasting our Walsh Dragon. Guys, this is spot on from what you taste inside of the park at the Rosen Crown Pub. I am very, very excited I got to recreate this drink, and now all of you guys can make it at home. Please share the magic with your friends and family. Make this for them and see what they think. Please make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you uh, push that little bell button down there to be notified when the next video is coming out. And uh, yeah, please make sure your food always likes your fancy, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.